Indeed, it was a great weekend for South African entertainment all round. Not only were crowds entertained by uh, Nick Rabinovitz and Sned as uh, what the EFF, but also the Metro FM Awards took place on Saturday uh, in Durban and Casper Cas Nuvest stole the show. I don't know if you guys were tuned in. Were you watching the show? No. It was amazing. The guy walked away with five Metro FM Awards, which included Best Hip Hop Album, Best Male Album, Song of the Year for Doc Beleza, and of course the Listener's Choice Award as well. Who did Doc Beleza? Who Doc Beleza? No, no, he's not an actual doctor. Oh, like Kumala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly. There we go. There we he go. He didn't have the qualifications. <laughs> he's like Saudi. But the do oh, oh, oh wow. Teaser. No, no, no. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Cut, cut. We're going to be showing you a bit of a, hi a highlight reel of uh, the awards if you did miss them. So check this out. We're not Nick, ne? Ne. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this year's edition of the Metro Fan Music Awards. I still remember you. This is the biggest award of the night, right? Um, this is the one award I, I, I really wanted. You know, when I was sitting there, I was looking at everybody from Zola, Brown Dash, El Volvo, and I thought to myself, man, damn, I want to be one of those guys, you know what I mean? Because every year there's going to be a phenomenon that we see, every four years we see, you know, something great. And this year I was that guy, you know what I mean? So. In 10 years to come, when there's someone else, you know, I want to be part of that list. And Yeah, indeed, this year he was that guy. In fact, uh, a lot of people might have been shocked when they checked out the Twitterverse. And uh, even AKA uh, congratulated uh, Casper in your vest after he won two Metro FM awards. He said congratulations yeah. to him. Because obviously... Even though you were throwing shade. I wasn't it. throwing shade at all. I don't even know what that um, means. Well, well, what did your tweet say again? No, 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 no. All I said was like, was while other rappers <laughs> run Josie, Casper Nuevest runs South Africa. That mm. was just like, you know, it's a little play on words. People must just relax out of here. But anyway, um, of, of course, what people were also shocked about in that final performance uh, is when Casper Nuevest changed the lyrics of his word, of his song, right? He usually says, uh, if you ain't Amanda DuPont, you ain't tailored for me. And then he said, even... Amanda Stredo. No, he uh, said, <laughs> even Amanda DuPont wasn't tailored for me because, of course, uh, there were some, some shenanigans that went down. They were yeah, dating and now they're not Clearly. dating anymore. What, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys follow what? celebrity news at all? Uh, uh, no, because I'm trying to be one. So, uh, <laughs> no, Wait, but, I but they came out wrong. Came wrong. Yeah, yeah. Kim Kardashian, I followed. Uh, you can't, I mean, it, mm. I was right behind her. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. sure you were. I'm sure you were. But here's the cool thing that uh, apparently Casper's dad, I just changed the topic very quickly on you now. Yeah, yeah. But Casper's dad predicted that he would win <clears throat> five uh, Metro FM awards. He actually took a screenshot of uh, this conversation oh. that he had with his dad. And dad Jeez. was like, You're you going to win. Minimum. Minimum. I don't know if, if his dad is Lickly a Sangoma or not. <laughs> he might be. But <laughs> that, that was the highlights of the Metro FM Film Awards, to which Nick and Snare did not pay any attention this weekend. So we'll now move on to something that Nick did give attention to, uh, Jason Raz. We Jason Raz, yes. Yesterday. Yeah, I saw you before you saw me. Okay, saw okay. But it was a brilliant concert. Yeah. And I don't know if there are a lot of his fans out there that know that uh, beyond being a Grammy Award winning singer, this guy actually does a lot of charity work trying to uh, promote environmental awareness and especially people uh, growing farms and yeah. growing uh, little vegetables, veggies, patches in their veggies. own, in their own gardens. I've, I've started growing veggies at home. Well, that's a good because thing. Because of him. Just last night I went Just to last night, but he was in Johannesburg tomorrow. doing some charitable work for some communities in need out there. Take a look, please. 